Like, Alright, so let's Irish? let's start at the bottom. Okay. Clemson. I like. They went all the way to they twenty-five. Went from nine to twenty-five. I, I, I actually agree with that a lot. I, I've been seeing a lot of people in like the comments of that saying they shouldn't they shouldn't even be on there. I'm like, no. Like, no, they should be ranked. You have to look at the be. holes in their game, and they yeah. actually lost against a team that went and got ranked at twenty one. Yeah. Uh, and a team that's probably the third best team in that division. I mean, that conference as well. So you got to look at that. You got to look at the biggest thing that stopped um, Clemson was the turnover game. If they did not have the turnovers, we could be talking a different story. Clemson being in the top five based off of how everything happened in top 10 this past weekend. Tulane did not move. I'm upset. I thought Tulane was 25. Last week, no. Tulane was twenty four last week. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, they I thought were, they were twenty five. They, they didn't move. Um, at most, I would see Tulane at twenty two. At yeah. yeah, at most, I would like to have seen him at least jump I, I, one I, I spot. Can, Michael see, Pratt went went crazy. He, he Michael, went crazy. He went. He I, went they, stupid. Here's the thing: they should be. Ah, uh, I am gonna, gonna get hate completed. for this. But I don't care. They should be ranked above Colorado. Uh, look, I can see why Colorado is ranked the way they I are. I see why. A ranked you, TCU. They were just in the natty. They knocked TCU out of the top 25. So, I mean, I can see all this still. I, I get it. But TCU lost a lot. They really should have been a little lower in that original one. First correct. off. You are correct about this. But... Yeah. Like Tulane, a team that literally, like, the biggest loss I had this past year was Tajay Spears, and they beat the number six team last year and then had a great performance last week and don't even move a spot. That's just straight up disrespectful. Uh, Texas AM at 23, they didn't move either. I, I disagree with that. Uh, yeah, they should. Yeah. I, I'm about to, yeah. Just wait till we get to AM. I've got I've got things I've got to say. No, we're already on AM. Go we're ahead. On A&M. No, I'm talking about when we get to the preview of the game. Oh, okay. Oh, I got okay, you. Okay, okay, I've got, got that. I'm saving it for that. Tulane over Colorado. How? How do you how? have a how preseason play? ranking and they were one and uh one and eleven? Let's let's play let's go back to revamped here. If we ever finish one and eleven in revamp, we're probably gonna be ranked dead last. How hard do you think that path back, regardless of how many people that we got transfers in and everything, we we're not just gonna automatically skip right up to the top? No. And you don't even know with Colorado. Yes, did they go on with TCU? You got to look at their situation, though. TCU downgraded at quarterback. They downgraded at wideout. <laughs> like, they lost a lot of pieces on that team. They lost their starting running back to the NFL draft as well. Like, they're, like what people consider the trio, they lost. Yeah, Damian's lost. Uh, how is their well, roster stacked when they're going <laughs> to have sure. end up with five Beating four Elon wins? by only 20? I understand, but Colorado's roster is stacked, but they're also transfers. They're also transfers. Yeah, they're all transfers. I get it, and they and they beat a team that lost a lot. I I just I don't understand. Yes, you yeah, drop TC, lost. you drop TC all the way out, and just to put Colorado in there. And what if they get beat next week by Nebraska? Oh, I hope Nebraska beats them. I never cheer for Nebraska, but this will be the one week I do. Mm. Uh. So we got Duke moving up to 21. Don't mind that at all. I, I love that. I love how they're ranked above Colorado. I love that so much because they beat a way better team and the hype should be over Duke and not Colorado. It doesn't matter who they beat. It is. Did, did I accidentally say otherwise? No, no, no. I, no. I was talking about Damien. Oh. Um, what did they do to show that they, they are deserving to be a top 25 team? Please explain Col- to me. Colorado, yeah, they no, their no, defense. I'm ta- no, I'm talking about their Wake defense Forest. got 40 points scored oh, on them. Oh, oh yeah, oh, sorry. Wake oh, Forest I'm beat having, Elon. I'm having a conversation with Damien in the comments. I apologize. Oh, okay. Like, you what, have me confused. What, what, real, like, real quick, real quick. I just want to go off a tangent. Wake Forest beat Elon by 20 points. 
Mm-hmm. It was 17 to 37. Wake Forest was not even close to being ranked in the top 25. And they beat Elon. And they lost does, the best quarterback they've had ever. Ever, correct. What did Wake Forest do exactly to prove that they are a top 25 team? And it's I will wait. Bother. It's Damien. Don't even bother. Anyways, no, like Colorado does deserve to be in the top 25. I'm not going to deny that. No, but I don't even think they're ready to be in the top 25. Yet. I'd I say can, 24 I is can the highest see I would give them. If they beat Nebraska, then I'd be like, okay. But literally, you were 1 and 11 last year and had nothing but transfers come in. I understand the hype. And I, and I get it. I get it with Colorado. I get it. They got really good players. Shador Sanders breaks the record. Travis Hunter plays mm-hmm. both ways. That's going to hurt him in the long run, though. But I, I get it. Their offensive line played better than what people. But th- this never has happened. A one in eleven team just enters the top twenty five after one never. week. Never. This is the only time I could think it happens. That never happens. And it's all off of hype. Let's oh, be God. honest. It's literally because what? of Dion and exactly, literally exactly. That. Let's it's say literally hype and Dion. That is it. Let's <laughs> let's say uh, Duke did this. Let's say River roads were searched. Like Duke was a one in eleven team. They did not bring in a guy like Dion, just a like good hire that we talked about that the media is really just on hype up because it's not a big guy that's known like Dion. They beat TCU because TCU lost so much, they would not even be in the top 25. We need to stop the media hype train on Colorado. I want to say so much other stuff, but I can't because we're PG. Ugh. Wait a second. Hold on. Colorado beat the team that was just in a national championship. Yeah, but then they got beat by like 60 points in a national championship, too. Yeah. And, and, and Clemson they, couldn't beat uh beat Duke, a team historically not known for football. They won seven games last year. Just because oh Vic, I'm sorry. And Ryan Leonard was that. was a was a was a great quarterback last year. So yeah, we, I mean everybody knew that this. Duke had a chance to beat a beat a good team. But here here's the thing. The team went one and eleven. So what does that say about every other team that won their game and beat the brakes off everybody that's probably deserving to be at twenty two? Twenty two. What what it's about two what about Tulane who just came off of beating USC and, and is still putting a smack down on people after losing Ty J Spears and getting a couple other people in the transfer portal? Why haven't they moved a spot? Exactly. We're gonna get into Connor Wegman and what he did last week too. What about what about Connor Wegman beating the brakes off of their opponent last week? Mm-hmm. So I, none of none of this is doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. It, this is all hype on Dion, yeah. and I get it. And if they lose against Nebraska, it is going to be the most wishy washy week that we've ever seen Ooh. in college football history. I'm telling you right now. Especially if Jeff Sims is still Nebraska's starting quarterback. Oh, Jeff Sims, it was, was if start, I had a start, the, list. start my boy Purdy, bro. Uh, Jeff Sims, some uh, the, if Chuba Purdy uh, comes in, he's going to be a better quarterback than Jeff Sims, mm-hmm. and they're going to win that game. I'm willing to put money on that. Yes. They have a good team. Their quarterback <laughs> just was not good. Oh, if they said. keep winning, it's going to get spicy. I get it. But if they lose against Nebraska, that train is coming to a damn halt fast. <laughs> and you won't see him in the top 25 for weeks until they actually prove it. And they got a long schedule ahead of them. Oregon's on their schedule. Oregon, Oregon State. State. And, I, and our boy Durag DJ. Durag DJ. Let's get let's on get. and then we'll have a healthy Kim rising back. Let's get through the schedule, though, or the the top twenty five. So I agree with twenty through twelve. Oh, I agree. I I the fandom in me wants Wisconsin. I want Texas drop like down lower though. Twenty. I was about to say twelve. I switch switch twelve eleven. You could even put hold up. Why is Texas over Oregon? What? Do you yeah, not like, just see Oregon just I feel like kill? Oregon should be hired, and that could just be because I'm very hyped point? on Oregon. Yeah, I Look, think our I think our bias for Oregon is getting in the way they're looking at that. But you gotta realize Oregon did not struggle with their FPS school. Texas did. No, I, I agree with you, but I'm just saying I I think 
I personally Look, think. Ooh, pump, pump the, hold on, pump the brakes. We ain't about to disrespect JT Daniels like that in Rice. Hold on. I lo- JT Daniels is that guy. He like, but but it's right. <laughs> hold on. Oh, man, they won nine. That's right. I knew they didn't win. Se- Duke didn't win seven games. They won nine games last but, year. But they're but they're gonna be bad because they're a basketball school. That's right, fishing. What school am I thinking of? But even seven wins, if they did win seven wins, that's still great for Duke. But yes, I, I thought that number was wrong when it came out my mouth. Nine wins is what Duke had last year. Who did win seven? Um, was it? And then, and then I think the top ten is great. I, I think. Oh, I like. Um, I like the top ten. Yeah. I don't have a problem with it. I don't. I have no problem with it. You could argue. You could argue the two lane disrespect though. That, that yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, the only thing I could see someone argue in the top ten is, uh, you want to pull it back up quick. Uh, just Penn State, USC. That's the only thing I USC see has argue. two wins though, and yeah, they, they got, do. They got two and wins. Like I said, State, well, that's the also, only thing I could see being. Penn argued. State struggled against West Virginia in the first half they more did, than they probably should West, have. West Virginia is also probably one of the worst teams in college football. Yeah. Like I will not be surprised if I will be more surprised if West Virginia wins the game. Hey, Fishing brings up a great point. Duke was a Colorado type hype last year, but no yeah. one talked about it. Brand matters too much to a lot of people, and that's why. Great point, Fishing. Duke. I mean, and literally, I, I, it's, it's nil I, and coaching, name, image, likeness. Of Deion Sanders is going to shoot to the top of. It's going to get everybody's attention, and you can't yeah. even blame Deion. Like, as much, it's more the hype that people are giving him. It's not Dion's fault that he's, you know, Dion. Dion. <laughs>